South Korea has a long-standing history of manufacturing submarines. The country's shipbuilding industry is known for its high-quality, state-of-the-art submarines that are used for both defense and commercial purposes. In this part of today's video, we will explore the submarine manufacturing process in South Korea. The manufacturing process for submarines in South Korea typically involves four main stages – design, construction, testing, and delivery. Each of these stages requires extensive knowledge, experience, and expertise, as well as access to cutting-edge technology and materials. The first stage in the manufacturing process is design. This stage involves the development of detailed plans for the submarine structure, propulsion system, weapons, and other features. South Korean shipbuilders use advanced computer modeling and simulation tools to optimize the design and ensure that the submarine meets all necessary requirements. The second stage is construction. This stage involves the actual fabrication of the submarine's components and assembly of the vessel. South Korean shipbuilders use high-strength steel alloys, advanced composites, and other specialized materials to construct the submarine's hull, pressure hull, and other components. The construction process is highly precise and requires a skilled workforce with expertise in welding, machining, and other manufacturing processes. The third stage is testing. This stage involves a series of tests to ensure that the submarine meets all performance and safety requirements. South Korean shipbuilders use specialized testing facilities to simulate various conditions that the submarine may encounter, including deep sea pressure, extreme temperatures, and high-velocity impacts. These tests are critical to ensuring the safety and reliability of the submarine. The final stage is delivery. Once the submarine has passed all required tests, it is delivered to the customer. South Korean shipbuilders provide comprehensive training and support to the customer's crew to ensure that they are able to operate the submarine safely and effectively. One example of South Korea's submarine manufacturing capabilities is the KSS Roman III submarine. The KSS Roman III is a diesel-electric submarine that is capable of performing a wide range of missions, including anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare, and intelligence gathering. The submarine features advanced weapon systems, including torpedoes, missiles, and mines, as well as state-of-the-art sensors and communication equipment. In conclusion, South Korea's submarine manufacturing process is a highly advanced and sophisticated operation. The country's shipbuilders use cutting-edge technology and materials to design, construct, test, and deliver submarines that meet the highest standards of performance, safety, and reliability. The KSS Roman III is just one example of South Korea's world-class submarine manufacturing capabilities, and the country is poised to continue to play a leading role in this important field for years to come. Years. The Indiana SSN 789 submarine is a Virginia-class attack submarine built by Huntington Ingalls Industries in partnership with the U.S. Navy. The submarine is named after the state of Indiana and was commissioned in September 2018. Now we will explore the production process of the Indiana SSN 789 submarine. The production of this submarine began with the design phase which involved a team of engineers and naval architects working together to create the blueprint for the submarine. The design team used advanced software and simulation tools to develop the submarine's hull, propulsion system, weapons, and other critical components. The design team also worked closely with the U.S. Navy to ensure that the submarine met all of the Navy's requirements. Once the design phase was complete, the production phase began. The construction of the Indiana SSN 789 submarine was carried out at Huntington Ingalls Industries Newport News Shipbuilding Facility in Virginia. The production process involved a team of skilled workers using state-of-the-art equipment to fabricate and assemble the submarine's components. The construction of the Indiana SSN 789 submarine was divided into several phases. The first phase involved the fabrication of the submarine's hull which was made of steel and designed to withstand extreme pressure at great depths. The hull was constructed using a process called modular construction, 
in which large sections of the hull were built separately and then joined together. The second phase of production involved the installation of the submarine's propulsion system, which was designed to provide the submarine with the speed and maneuverability required to carry out its missions. The propulsion system included a nuclear reactor, a turbine engine, and a set of propellers. The third phase of production involved the installation of the submarine's weapon systems and other critical components. The Indiana SSN-789 submarine is equipped with a variety of advanced weapons, including torpedoes and missiles, as well as advanced sensors and communication equipment. Once the production phase was complete, the Indiana SSN-789 submarine underwent a series of tests to ensure that it met all of the Navy's requirements. These tests included sea trials, in which the submarine was put through a series of rigorous tests to evaluate its performance and capabilities. The submarine's modular construction process, advanced propulsion system, and sophisticated weapons and communication systems make it a highly capable platform for carrying out a wide range of missions for the U.S. Navy. Saab is a Swedish company that has been producing submarines for over a century. The company's submarines are known for their advanced technology, reliability, and efficiency. The production process for Saab submarines begins with design. Saab has a team of naval architects and engineers who work together to develop the design of the submarine. The design team uses advanced computer-aided design software to create detailed plans for the submarine's structure, propulsion system, weapons, and other features. Once the design phase is complete, the construction phase begins. The construction of Saab submarines is carried out at the company's facilities in Sweden. The construction process involves the fabrication of the submarine's hull, pressure hull, and other critical components. Saab uses high-strength steel alloys, advanced composites, and other specialized materials to construct the submarine's components. The construction process also involves the installation of the submarine's propulsion system, which includes a diesel-electric engine and a set of propellers. Saab submarines are designed to be highly maneuverable and efficient, with a focus on reducing noise and increasing speed. The third stage of the manufacturing process is testing. Saab conducts a series of tests to ensure that the submarine meets all performance and safety requirements. These tests include sea trials, which involve taking the submarine out to sea and putting it through a series of rigorous tests to evaluate its performance and capabilities. Once the testing phase is complete, the submarine is delivered to the customer. Saab provides comprehensive training and support to the customer's crew to ensure that they're able to operate the submarine safely and effectively. Saab is also involved in the maintenance and modernization of submarines. The company has a team of experts who are responsible for ensuring that submarines are kept in good working order and that they are upgraded with the latest technology. Saab's submarine production and manufacturing process is a highly advanced and sophisticated operation. The company uses advanced technology and materials to design, construct, test, and deliver submarines that meet the highest standards of performance, safety, and reliability. Saab's commitment to innovation and efficiency has made it a leader in the field of submarine production, and the company is poised to continue to play a leading role in this important field for years to come.